Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, We've got a can of food truck beer by the Henderson Brewing Company. Yes, indeed. Food truck. Henderson's. I've never had anything by these guys. They're out of Toronto. I found this in a random beer store when I went to Toronto recently. And I got this and one other beer by them. So let's crack this one open and see what we've got. Really no idea what to expect at all. Freaking ow. That worked well. Super well. I believe this is some kind of a blonde ale or something like that. Looks pretty... That doesn't look super blonde. It looks nice. Nice and clear. Not a lot of head. Let's get a picture. Yes, quite clear. A little bit of chill haze on there. And reflection, you can see it. It's a, it's a nice day outside. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that has got some nice bready, caramelly, vanilla kind of malty aromas going on. Smells nice. Let's give her a shot. That's delightful. Oh yeah. It is loaded with that fantastic malt flavor. I haven't had a beer with this flavor in a little while. Red Beard approves of your food truck beer, Henderson. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Oh, little tiny bit of bitterness off the start, and then it just melts away into that kind of creamy, delicious, fantastic, multi flavor. Oh, I love it so much. Henderson Brewing, that's all.com. Check them out in Toronto. What does it say here? Uh, they are 128A Sterling Road, wherever that might be. Back in the day, Toronto's food trucks were known mainly for warmed over weenies and soggy french fries. But our city has grown up, and so has the fare being offered by the food trucks that come by the Henderson Brewery. As a show of respect for today's mobile chefs, we decided to brew a refreshing and, uncompli and uncomplicated blonde ale that pairs perfectly with great food, great friends, or just a great day. You're about to enjoy that easy drinking beer. Cheers. 4.8%. Oh yeah. I can crush many of these on a hot day. Oh, I'm kind of sad I didn't buy more than one can of this. I should have bought like a 2-4. Oh my god, that's delicious. The lingering, just delightful flavors. Oh, I love this beer so much. So good. I don't see ingredients on here. There's a canned on June 23rd, so just over a month old. Only thing I have against anything you're doing right now, ingredients. I do like the label aside from that. Untapped rating for this beer, 3.44 out of 5, 840 ratings, apparently 19 IBUs. I believe it, that initial little bit of bitterness. Excuse me. Just nice flavors again there. No one's saying a damn thing on untapped. Easy cottage drinking. Sure. Why not? I don't know why not. That's just easy drinking whatever. Easy whatever drinking. Easy anytime, any place drinking that's a really really nice beer great beer 41 and 64 41 overall 64 for the style 13 ratings really bad name average beer well that guy sucks 
Nothing special, but hits a home run in its class. I think it's pretty special. I think it's delicious. Flavors of straw, mild corn syrup, and a touch of mild malt bitterness, and that's about it, man. Really? What do you expect? It's a blonde ale. Wow. Some people are just dicks. Like, oh, I expected this to taste like a imperial stout and have all these complex flavors or some weird shit. It's delightful for what it is. It's really, really nice. Very, very, very tasty blonde ale. Straightforward, pleasant blonde ale. I'd say straightforward, damn good blonde ale. Very simple, but clean ale. A pleasant blonde ale. Blonde ale. Blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Beer Advocate. Only five ratings. So not enough for any kind of overall. I guess it says here. <laughs> Sorry. 3.52 is the average rating. Uh, nicely balanced beer. That's the only thing anybody said. So, yeah. <laughs> So much good. Wondering, let's scroll down, what show me? Where are the rest of your beers? News. Always, always brewing, okay. Henderson's Best is the other one I have, and then I didn't see this. It's a, a UPA. A Toronto style IPA. Union Pearson Ale. That's interesting. Come to think of it, if I can do that on the website, then if I was to go like this with the food truck beer, and then let that load, and then go like that. There we go. Yeah. Nice, nice little advertisement going on for Henderson's Food Truck Ale. Get you some. It's Frickin' delicious. Or something like that? I don't know. Anybody from Henderson's watching? That's for you. You just take that little clip. Take it. I don't want anything for it. It's gonna last. Oh, my goodness. Henderson's Brewing Company. Your food truck ale. Food truck beer. Food truck beery ale. Delicious stuff. Rating 9.5. I must knock 0.5 off for your lack of ingredients. And that is the only thing I am docking on that beer because I loved it. And that's going to do it for today's daily drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you've got something to say to me, put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another daily drink vlog tomorrow. Oh, peace out! Not gonna lie, I am damn excited for the Henderson's Best now. Oh yes.